God morning to you. C.S. Lewis says, I do not know why there is this difference, but I am sure that God keeps no one waiting unless he sees that it is good for him to wait. When you do enter your room, you will find that the long wait has done you some kind of good, which you would not have had otherwise. But you must regard it as waiting, not as camping. You must keep on praying for light. And of course, even in the hall, you must begin trying to obey the rules which are common to the whole house. And above all, you must be asking which door is the true one, not which pleases you best by its paint and paneling. You must be asking, what is your will, God? In every moment, what is your will? What would you have me do? Instead of just jumping up and doing and starting, stop and ask. And you'll feel him saying, you are my will. You are the will of God. Affirm that I am the will of God. I am God's will. And sit up into that, embody that, own that. I am God's will. You just as you are. If there's any doubt there, or smallness there, or fleeting feelings of unworthiness, see them, smile at them, and reaffirm, I am the will of God. And it's not just that body and its worldly purpose and what it does in the world, what it will do in the world. It's its essence. It's what you are, this love that that body seems to be filling right now is the will of God. You filling love is God's will. You filling love no matter what, no matter where is God's will, filling him, being him in the world. Nisargadatta Maharaj says, carry the conviction in yourself that the knowledge I am within you is God, that filling I am, that I am here, that I am now, that filling without words, without the words I am within you is God. And you have to keep some attention on God even while you're needed out here. Keep some attention inside while you're listening to me. Practice with me. These are low stakes. There's no stress right now, no drama right now. Your mind will try to go out to the drama that you think is waiting for you at that office or in that other room or in some future time. But restrict yourself to the present moment. Stay right here. Her pitch would say, Act as if you've drawn a circle around yourself, around that consciousness, and you can't take a step outside of it. You have to stay right here, right now. There's no problem right now. There's only love here. And as long as you feel love now, you'll feel and know and be loved then. You'll be fine then, just like you're fine now. Don't let the mind trick you. It's like the serpent in your ear trying to tempt you into believing something else is here other than God, that something has more power than God does. God's hand is on you. You are good. And he is saying, get ready to recover all. Get ready to receive all. Your lost years are being restored. You don't even realize that your feet have entered your promised land, and just have to hold my hand and obey my commands and everything is about to change all around you. Look at any attacks as proof. Your season has changed. The shift has begun. It is time. That's godly waiting. The waiting has ended. You're no longer waiting. You're loving. Feel the difference. Waiting felt empty, it felt dry, it felt dead. Loving feels alive. It's as if every cell in your body is dancing, is singing, is shouting, is praising the Lord. 
you have been remembered. Day three prayer and the words of Jesus to your soul. How many things I do when the soul in so much spiritual and material need turns to me, looks at me and says to me, you take care of it, then closes its eyes and rests. In pain, you pray for me to act, but that I act in the way you want. You do not turn to me. Instead, you want me to adapt your ideas. You are not sick people who ask the doctor to cure you, but rather sick people who tell the doctor how to. So do not act this way, but pray as I taught you in our Father. Hallowed be thy name. That is, be glorified in my need. Thy kingdom come. That is, let all that is in us and in the world be in accord with your kingdom. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That is, in our need, decide as you see fit for our temporal and eternal life. If you say to me truly, thy will be done, which is the same as saying you take care of it, I will intervene with all my omnipotence and I will resolve the most difficult situations. And now ten times we pray, O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. And now our concluding prayer. Mother, I am yours now and forever. Through you and with you, I always want to belong completely to Jesus. Amen. And remember, as Adam Clark says, prayer requires more of the heart and of the tongue. So if you feel that that prayer that you just prayed with me was heartless, go back and pray it again. Pray it as often as you feel called to throughout the day. Keep the words, I surrender, on your lips, or take care of everything, or simply Jesus, Jesus. There's a beautiful song and I've shared it before. It's the spontaneous worship called You Are Lifted by Victor Thompson. And at the 19 minute mark, thereabouts, like 1923, he's singing to Jesus and he's just singing his name and he's singing it so beautifully. And when I'm hearing Jesus inside, I sing it like that, especially when he goes high <laughs> and I can't get up there, but I try. When I'm driving, I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it. But that's a beautiful way to keep this ever stirred in your spirit, to keep yourself remembering, to keep yourself remembered. Srila Prabhupada says, when you don't follow your morning sadhana, your morning practice, a whole day you will be tortured by maya, by the illusion, by evil, as it's known in the Bible, the devil, Satan, the serpent. He says, whatever little I have taught you, follow that. And nobody will be aggrieved. No Maya will touch you. As long as you are remembering, you are remembered. You are unburdened. You are chosen. I love you. And we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.